All right, fellas, today's topic, we're looking at bow ties. What's good, y'all? It's Steve from the Dapper Aristocrat. If you're new to the channel, we give you tips on how to look good, stand out, and get compliments. If that's your goal, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new content. Now, most of the time when you go into a formal event or a semi-formal event, every guy is dressed up and they have on a regular necktie. Now, I know neckties come in a lot of different styles and colors and there you can tie them in different ways and after a while you see a lot of guys in neckties it begins to look a little boring so just imagine you in that event and instead of having a regular necktie on you have on a bow tie not only will people be drawn to you but your bow tie will also serve as a conversation piece and a lot of guys will start to ask you about your bow tie now i know tying a bow tie could be challenging but it's not rocket science Anybody can tie a bow tie, especially if I can. So let's look at the bow tie and see what different styles you can choose from. And also, I may even show you how to tie a bow tie along the way. Now there's three different types of bow ties that you can choose from. The first one we'll look at is your clip-on bow tie. Now clip-on bow tie is a bow tie that you typically clip on the collar of your shirt. Now the advantage of a clip-on bow tie is that they typically stay in place no matter what you're doing, whether you're dancing, playing basketball in it, whatever you're doing, your bow tie is gonna stay in place. It's also very convenient because all you gotta do is clip it on your collar and you're good to go. However, the disadvantage of a clip-on bow tie is that they don't have a variety of styles that you can choose from. Most clip-on bow ties are made one size fit all and that's not an ideal situation when you're wearing a bow tie. I feel like clip-on bow ties should be reserved for kids. So if you're not a kid, then you shouldn't be wearing these bow ties. You should challenge yourself to either learn how to tie a bow tie or go with the next route, your pre-tie bow tie. Now, pre-tie bow tie is also very convenient because it already comes tied. It's different than your clip-on bow tie because it looks more realistic. Another great quality of a pre-tie bow tie is that they're usually made of great quality. They're very easy to put on. If you're in a rush and you need to get to your event, all you gotta do is clip it on and you're good to go. The disadvantage of having a pre-tie bow tie is that they lack character. It doesn't matter what type of bow tie you get, whether it's from Express or any other type of brand, they're all gonna look perfect. They're all gonna look the same. But you want a bow tie that has character and you want a bow tie that has a large variety of styles that you can choose from. Now the last tie that we'll talk about is your self-tie bow tie. Your self-tie bow ties are one of the best bow ties that you can choose from, mainly because they're made out of great quality and there are a lot of different patterns and styles and textures and things that you can choose from. One of my favorite types of bow tie is the reversible bow tie and they have a lot of character because every time you tie your bow tie, it may look different. But you do have a lot of choices when it comes to a self tie bow tie. You can choose from your butterfly bow tie, which is what I have on right now, your big butterfly bow tie, also known as the jumbo bow tie, which is a great choice for taller gentlemen. The bat wing bow tie is a very slim bow tie. This is a bow tie that you'll probably see more often in less formal events. Your diamond point bow tie looks very extravagant and it's a great style of bow tie that you can choose from. The last style of bow tie is your club round bow tie, which is very rare. You typically don't see a lot of gentlemen wearing this, but it's also less formal as well. So when you typically see a gentleman wearing this style of bow tie, you'll see it mostly worn in those less formal occasions. Now let's talk about when is it appropriate for you to wear a bow tie. Most gentlemen wear bow ties during formal events, such as a black tie affair where you have to dress up in a tuxedo. The tie of choice in those type of events is a bow tie. Sometimes in those type of events, you may even see a gentleman wear a velvet bow tie. But a lot of times you'll see guys wearing bow ties in casual events, especially if they're a dapper gentleman, you may see a guy accompanying his bow tie with suspenders, some nice colorful socks, and maybe even some colorful shoe strings. Don't forget, you also have your wooden bow tie 
and other styles of bow ties that aren't made of fabric that you can choose from that you can wear in casual and semi-casual events as well they look great in these types of events and they also give you a lot of compliments and people will definitely be drawn to you because they're going to want to know where you got your bow tie from i wear my bow ties to work for the most part and it gives me a unique look and because a lot of people are used to seeing me in a bow tie i get a lot of compliments and also sometimes gentlemen come up to my job and ask me to tie their bow tie if they're going to a more formal event tying a bow tie in the beginning can be a little difficult but with practice it's almost as simple as tying a regular necktie matter of fact let me show you how to tie a bow tie so first thing make sure that one side is longer than the other because the, the side that's longer is what you're going to use to create the knot and this part will lay over the form of the bow tie to create that knot and that way it'll look its best what you want to do is you take the short end right i take my short end and i grab it at the like right here you see all this the structure of the bow tie forming here i grab it at the top of that and i bring i grab it at the top of that and i come under I grab this longer part under it and I fold it. I create a cross with my thumb right here. That way I can kind of hold it. And then I bring the longer part under and down. That way I can pull it to the button where your bow tie should lie. Okay. So now you got the, the, um, the first tie here at the button. You take this this longer fabric and you throw it throw it over your shoulder kind of get it out the way so that you can form the actual structure of the bow tie now how you do that you grab it at the top again like you did before and you take your index finger there and your other hand you bring it up and with your index finger you kind of slide it until you get that bow tie shape which is this okay now that you got your bow tie shape, you bring that extra fabric that you do over your shoulder, you bring it down over the middle of the structure of the bow tie that you got right there. So now you have one side which is folded and you have one side that is not folded, okay? So you bring those two together right there. That way you hold them with one hand and you still have this excess fabric okay now behind it which behind it there's a hole you see it with my finger i bring it up there's a hole right here from where you brought the access tie down it creates a hole so when you bring so when you when you want to bring this access fabric through the hole but you want to kind of loop it around your finger i'll show you so i got this i bring i got let me start over so i got this i done created this shape here right boom i bring this down boom i fold this over boom then i got this hole here but you don't want to make it too big you loosen it a little bit you got this hole here so you take this excess fabric right here and you kind of take this and you kind of bring it and fold it kind of like this you bring it down and you bring in this kind of fold it through the hole that way you can create the folded side on the opposite side of the other folded side to create a bow tie so then once you got the fold once you push it through the folded side you're gonna take your index finger and in the middle like in the center of it you see that hole here you kind of pull it pull this through right there and then you fold that down and then you got your bow tie all you want to do is kind of like shape it to where it's to where you like it so i got this knot here i kind of want to want it to be flat so i loosen it a little bit i flatten it out and then i take 
this folded side you see it's folded boom boom and the other folded side which is behind this right here on the opposite side to tighten tighten that knot so you grab them at the end and you pull them to tighten it to um kind of once you tighten it these two are going to be they're not going to be positioned properly so you want to pull it to pull them at the same time to kind of get it to where you want it okay now i'm looking in this mirror to make sure i got it so i so i want to position it to where i like my tie to be so i kind of fix it you know make it make it the proper shape and boom i got the bow tie so let me know in the comment section if you wear a bow tie and if you don't what are some of the things that's holding you back from wearing a bow tie shout out to all my subscribers if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing if you like my content and also don't forget to hit the notification bell always remember to be a gentleman stay dapper and i'll see you guys next video